Hello and welcome to another video. This video is centered on the topic of related rates in calculus. Now when you say related rates, we're not dealing with one thing changing, we're dealing with two things changing, but those two things are related to each other. So it's very important that you already have an idea of the relationship or the connection between the two things that are changing for you to even solve the problem. So just imagine if I told you the radius of a circle is increasing at a certain rate, at what rate is the area changing? Well, you already know the connection between the area of a circle and the radius, okay? A is pi r squared, so you can use that to solve the problem. But if you get other kinds of problems that are not straight geometric or um, 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 algebraic um, formulas that you already memorized, you have to be able to use whatever else you know to be able to establish a relationship. That's why this topic is called related rates. The relationship is the first thing and then you talk about the rates. Okay, so let's look at this question that we have on the board and we'll see how this one goes. So the first thing you must do is to write a formula that connects the two changes, changing quantities. Now if you don't know what the two changing quantities are in the problem you're given, you can't answer the question. Okay. If you don't know the formula that connects them, you can't answer the question no matter how much differentiation you know how to do. So the first thing is look at the problem. What is changing? Is the height of the lamppost changing? No. Is the man's height changing? No. Is the distance from the lamppost changing? Yes, because he's walking away from the light. Is the shadow getting longer? Yes. So the two things that are changing are the distance from the lamppost and the length of the shadow. So how can I connect this with this? Go back and ask yourself, what do I know? I know this is a right triangle. Mm, I need there's a right triangle and I have a line here like this. Then I can treat these two as similar triangles where this is the big triangle and this is the small triangle. This is how I teach my students. Okay, so here we go. The big triangle is x plus s, x plus s, this, and this side is 11. The small triangle is just s, and this is 6. Okay, when both triangles are similar, what you see is, is the ratio of the corresponding sides will give you a constant. So I say 6 over 11, okay, um, similar triangles similar triangles which says 6 6 over 11 is equal to s over x plus s s over x plus s that's one way to connect it another way to connect it is to look at this and say there's an angle here theta so at this frozen moment in time this angle here to find a tangent of this angle, I chose tangent because I don't have the hypotenuse, so I can't do anything that relates to hypotenuse, so no cosine, no sine. I have to do tangent because I don't know what the, the side is, but I know the side and I know the length of the side. So for the big triangle, the tangent of this angle is opposite over adjacent, which is 11 over 10 plus s. So, or I can say tan theta is 11 over x plus s okay that's if i use the big triangle well this angle is still the same if i use a small triangle which is going to be six over s okay is the same thing this if i want to find tangent of theta from the small triangle it's going to be six over s six over s so as you can see there are two ways to go about that 
I don't know if there's another way, but those are the two ways I can clearly see from the problem. So now I need to write a formula connecting X and S. Why? Because X is changing, S is changing, and those are the related rates. Okay, so now if I cross multiply, I just want something easy to work with. I'm going to have 11S equals 6X uh, plus 6S. Okay, if you do that with this, you get the same thing. And this tells you that if you put x, isolate x, and you move s to the other side, you're going to have 6x equals 11s minus 6x gives you, gives you 5s, okay? Which tells you that x is equal to 5 over 6s. That's all we've got. Okay, so our x is 5 over 6s. Okay, now... Now that you have a formula connecting the two changing things, you're almost done with your work. You just have to find what the S, the T is. Remember, that's what we're looking for. The rate at which the shadow is growing. D S the T. D S. D T. We don't know. But what can we know? We can know D X, D S. We can also know dx dt, the rate at which x is changing with time. They already gave us. So, using your chain rule, connecting two things, okay? So, x depends on s, and s is changing with t. So, we want to find how x is changing with t. We know that, so this is chain rule. You will always do this for related rates. We know that dx dt equals dx ds multiplied by ds dt. This is the chain rule. And with this rule, you're almost done. What is dx dt? The rate at which x is changing. They already gave us. It's 2. What is dx ds? We don't know, but we can find it out from here. Differentiate x with respect to s dx ds equals 5 over 6. Done. <laughs> what is ds dt? That's what we're looking for. It is how fast the shadow is growing. We don't know yet, but now we can find it. This is ds dt. So from here, if you isolate this, if you multiply both sides by 6 and divide by 5, you're going to have 2 times 6 divided by 5 will be equal to ds dt. And what does that give you? 12 over 5. So ds dt equals 12 over 5, which is 2.4? Yeah, 2.4 feet per second. Wow. The shadow is growing longer than the guy is walking. Okay. So basically, that's what you do in every related rate problem. Establish a formula connecting the changing quantities. Not everything, the changing quantities. You just need a formula. Take the derivative of that formula with respect to whatever you're looking for, okay? And you'll be fine. I hope this video helped you. If it did, thumbs up, like, share, comment in the comment section. Thumbs up and like are the same thing. And be subscribed if you're not subscribed. I'll see you in the next video. Don't stop learning, because those who stop learning have stopped living. Bye-bye.